what's up guys with the pack lock bros and in today's video we will going to talk about autographs and patches and how they could add value to your cards As most of you know, some cards have autos, autographs, or mems, memorabilia, such as swatches, patches, or relics. Now, in most cases, these add value to your card, but not always, because not all cards are created equal. Let's start with autos, and there are two types of autographs, which you can find on our favorite cards. Sticker autos, for example. Sticker autos are mostly applied on the lower end cards, like Certified and Donruss. While the on-card autos are mostly applied on the higher-end cards like Flawless or National Treasures. Sticker autos is when a player signs a clear sheet of paper. Those stickers are then peeled off and applied on the card. The on-card auto is when a player actually held the card and signed the card. And those cards are more valuable. For patches that's a different story. Patches are made most of the time from a player's jersey and the more colors a patch has, the more desirable it is. Most collectors are after the big ones like a Nike Swoosh logo or the team logo or the laundry tags or as many different colors uh, as possible in the patch. Now size in this case doesn't really matter as napkins, which are usually quite big, aren't necessarily more valuable than other cards. In fact, sometimes they decrease the value of the card. There's a big difference between types of patches. The most desired and thus the most valuable patch of them all is the game-worn patch, which means that the player wore the jersey during a football game. And if you're lucky, it's, it's a bit filthy as well. Secondly, we have the playing worn patch, which basically means the player uh, took, it, took on a jersey and then quickly took it off so the manufacturer could say, hey, it's player worn. The less desired of them all is the patch which is not associated with any game or event. It's just some jerseys off a shelf and they cut them up in patches and put it in our cards. So to summarize, game worn and player worn patches are more valuable than the non-player worn and game worn patches. And with that, we've reached the end of our video. And if you're still watching, thank you very much. That means the information we just brought you is valuable. Subscribe, like, maybe even share to, uh, with some new collectors just starting up in 2022. In our next video, we'll be talking about the different types of seal wax that you can buy and that you can even invest in. So, see you guys next time. See you then.